All right, we have to find the area of the figure. And I know some formulas to find area, like the area of a triangle, rectangle, trapezoid, circle. I don't necessarily know a special formula for this figure. However, if I look at it carefully, these are 90 degree angles here. Let's see, it appears that if I were to just kind of extend this down here, I could actually look at this figure as a rectangle and as a triangle. And I know how to find the area of a rectangle and a triangle. So if I find the area of the rectangle part, and then I find the area of the triangle part, and add that together, I will know the area of the entire figure. So let's do that. First of all, it looks like this is two feet on this side, and this is three feet on that side. So for the rectangle, we use area equals length times width or base times height. In this case, it's going to be two feet times three feet. And so the area is six square feet. So that's how much this is right here. Six square feet in that area there. Now for the triangle, remember that comes into a 90 degree angle there. The triangle, I recall the area formula is area equals one half the base times the height. Now the base goes from here to here. Don't be fooled, it's not 10 feet. 10 feet is all the way across. So if it's two feet from here to here and 10 feet all the way across, this measurement must be eight feet. And for the height of this triangle, it would be three feet plus five more feet. So it'd be a total of eight feet. So actually this triangle is an isosceles triangle. Okay, so now area equals one half and the base is eight feet times the height, which is eight feet. And now I can either just multiply these two and then cut it in half, maybe I'll just do that. So it'd be eight times eight is 64 square feet times one half. And you get the area is 32 square feet of the triangle. Okay, so now I'm gonna take those two measurements, the six square feet and the 32 square feet, and I'm gonna add them together to find my final answer. So I just figured out that the inside here is 32 square feet for that area. Now I'm gonna add it all together. So I have the 32 square feet for the triangle plus the six square feet for the rectangle, which equals a total of 38 square feet. So the area of the figure is 38 square feet. That's it. Thank you.